Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about using ladybugs in your garden. I'm going to really talk about how do you release them and what do you need to have in place in your garden so they hang around. These have been hanging around for the last couple of hours. Typically you release them in the evening. You can see all the ladybugs are starting to work their way up my plants. Typically you want to release them in the evening. They'll be a little bit calmer. They'll kind of settle in and they'll begin to do their thing. But in order for them to do their thing, you need to have a lot of things to talk in about place. the three things you need for ladybugs to hang around and stay in your garden. There's one crawling on the wood. We'll talk about that in a second. Your ladybugs are going to come in a mesh bag like that. Any source is perfectly fine. When you get them, they're going to be a little uh kind of uh, stressed out from you know being mailed stick them in a the refrigerator you can hold them in there a couple of days about 45 degrees let them chill out literally spray the mesh bag get some water droplets through the mesh onto the wood chips sometimes they come dehydrated but that will set them up for a nice release again we want to release them in the evening I did however release these in the morning for ladybugs to stick around they're gonna to need to have an ample food source covered in aphids. Butterfly weed is a great way to bring butterflies and pollinators into your garden, but it's also the food source your ladybugs need. There's a caterpillar right in there. If you don't have aphids, if you don't have all this food, you're going to release them. It doesn't matter when you release them, they're going to fly away. So you want to set up your space with milkweed, with other flowers that bring in aphids. Check the plants make sure the aphids are on there no chemical dusts or anything just let this be a nice clean place for the ladybugs Let's see if we can find any more see some right in there that's a butterfly bush they're enjoying that so we got aphids you release in the evening the other thing you want to do is make sure there's plenty of moisture if it didn't rain last night I would have Water down the whole area, water down the leaves, the mulch, give them a place where they can drink and enjoy their spot. They're going to slowly crawl up the plant, you release them at the base, and they're going to find all the aphids. They can eat thousands of them, so we have them here, they're taking care of the aphids in this section. I want them to multiply here, I want them to hang around here. And then I want them to fly over to my garden and take care of the problems over there. Now, if you want your lady beetles, your ladybugs to hang around and multiply, you also want to make sure you have a lot of pollen around. They'll eat the pollen, they'll drink their water, and they will lay eggs on the edges of the leaves. There's no eggs on here yet because I just released them. And the life cycle will continue. And maybe your ladybugs will set up shop and spend a lot of time just hanging around in your garden. There's an ant and a beetle going at it. The ants actually kind of herd the aphids to get the sap because they like the sugar and now the ladybugs are here to eat the aphids. So they're going to have a little nature battle. Let's come on over to here. And the whole key is the ample food. And I'm saying that over and over again because you're going to spend your money and if you don't have all these aphids, they're just not going to hang around. They're going to fly away. So if you're going to build a place for your ladybugs, milkweed, flowers that attract aphids, this is the staging area. There's my main garden over there. Plenty of food, mulch for water, wooden logs, places for them to hide and get into. They could overwinter in places like this stick around they do hibernate and if you have a lot of tree trunks where they can crawl into there um, they kind of I don't know this hundred percent but they make mass nests they all just kind of huddle together but you want places like this where they can crawl in and just sign a set up shop be protected for the winter I do have a wooded area over there they could go over there I have logs just like this all set up back there but you really want to have the ecosystem set up for your ladybugs. Look, they're all working their way up the plant. 
can see all the caterpillars. This is working out really, really nicely. So, release them in the evening. Have plants with plenty of food. Make sure you moisten down, water the area. And just let them do their thing. And if I'm lucky, they will start a life cycle here of taking care of the aphids, multiplying, and then they'll be flying right over to my garden. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you some ideas of how to use ladybugs in your garden, but more importantly, there, take a look at that one. You just, there we go. You just want to have the aphids here. If you don't have that, you're just wasting your money. And all you do is come out in the evening. Let's put it over here. You can see that they're alive. Just cut across the top, don't damage any. Put a handful into your hand. I've already released mine. Once there's a handful in your hand, just drop them right down at the base of the plant. They'll appreciate that. There's moisture down there. They'll calm down and then they'll just slowly work their way up the plant. And I would just put a handful on every plant that I want them to crawl up on. And that's probably easily a hundred ladybug, ladybugs, lady beetles at the base of each plant. That packet you saw was 1500. There it goes, one flying around. And they're going to cost you anything for, say, $1,500, anywhere from $8 to $15, depending on where you buy them. I haven't found any place better than any other one. Milkweed, butterfly weed, butterfly bush are all great plants to bring in the aphids. Thanks for watching. Give ladybugs a try in your garden. And when you do this, make sure you don't have any chemical dusts out in your garden, you know, for a good 10 days before you release them. You don't want them flying over there and landing on the dust. Thanks for watching. Please check out. Let's get this one last one. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and also check out my YouTube videos.